Hi everyone, and welcome to the Talks A Lot Boys present this month in music for the month of April 2021. I'm your host, my name is Tyler, and I am once again joined by the boys. We got Brennan. What's going on, folks? And we've got everybody's lovable glasses clad child man, Kyle Steinley. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I'm a child man. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> a man amongst children. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I don't like that one as much. <laughs> <laughs> out of context, that one might not be very I'm not loving good. that title. I'll, oh, I mean, no. yeah, oh, okay, no. well, But you know anyways. what is good? The copious amounts of music that has come out over the course of the last month, which was April, uh, and it is now May, so it's time to talk about all the all the fun, tasty shit that came out in the month of April. Uh, a few things I want to go over, top things off. Uh, first of all, and I've wanted to talk about this for a while, so I'm going to dive into the one that interests me the most. So Stand Atlantic, right? Oh, they, yes. They, they just put out, as of today, uh, their new single, Death Wish, has like hit Spotify and streaming things. Uh, they premiered it on the radio a few days ago, uh, <laughs> but I didn't get to listen to it. But the fucking, like, the lead up to this was like the weirdest shit I've ever seen a band like do <laughs> um <laughs> for those of you who don't know and i don't i don't know like the full scope of it but uh i guess at one point they just like password protected their website <laughs> and then started posting a bunch of weird cryptic shit all over the internet and i guess if you were able to like puzzle it together by like going out and finding comments that they left on really obscure random YouTube videos, or if you were one of like 15 people that they just like sent uh, the password to or some shit, um, then you could get into the website and like the internet decoded it and you could find the password and you go on there. And then it was like a fucking hangman game that was partially filled in with like two letters and the number two. And everyone was like, what the fuck does this mean? And no answers for a while and then yeah. as of like the beginning of of this week or the end of last week or something uh we found out that it was the name of their new single and the announcement date uh which was today and did you guys did you guys get a chance to listen to that that single yeah, yeah. it was uh yeah. it it surprised me but in yeah, a good way sure. i still really enjoyed yes. it i was not expecting it to be like trap <laughs> you know uh <laughs> yeah. definitely like and i mean they're 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 fairly experimental for being in the pop punk scene i mean they've mm -hmm. they've definitely done some more stuff kind of in that vein in the last album and stuff but uh this was very much just like this is fucking punk trap and they just went all in on it and it's like something that like in concept, on paper, probably shouldn't work, but they actually managed to pull it off quite well, and I was actually pretty impressed with it. Um, so, Stan Atlantic, once again, puts out a fucking bop. I enjoyed it. Uh, did you guys have any any thoughts on it that you want to just yeah. throw out into the into the airwaves? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I, you put it very well. It, like, surprised me in a very pleasant way. I felt like it. it was like everything I want from a Stand Atlantic single or song in general, and then, like, that trappiness added in with the feature and everything. I thought it was really cool. Uh, yeah, I was just really happy with it. I ended up listening to it this morning because I remembered. Also, I feel like we kind of gave away the fact that it's not actually May yet. We, we started off the show by saying it was May, and then we said it came out today, and that's not May. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it comes out in May. Like, when people are watching this, it'll be May, but yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Just You it's said that today it's now May. Yeah, it's yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> which will we'll, we'll conflict with something we're going to talk about later, but that, we'll get to that. Oh, boy. Oh, what's that going to be? <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, no, I thought the song was really good. I... I'm wondering if that kind of trappy vibe is just for the single with the feature or if it's like something they're going to do a little bit more with going forward. I so that's like interesting to me, but we'll see I, what happens. My, just like my gut instinct is that like, I think, I think they lean into it super heavy just specifically for the single because they had that feature of that guy, the... I don't remember the name. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like nothing, nothing nowhere, nowhere or whatever, but yeah. he's like a... He's basically like a like a hip hop emo thing. Like I went, I'd never heard of, heard of him before, but I went back and listened to a few songs and it's basically <laughs> just that without like stand Atlantic, making it sound good. Basically. Gotcha. So okay. like, oh, that, that kind of, um, I feel the like they really leaned into it because of the feature. It wouldn't shock me if they kind of do more of that stuff in the future, just because they are very 
experimental within like their genre um so it wouldn't it wouldn't shock me if they kind of lean more into that vibe in future projects but i don't think that that is going to be like their main focus or like main sound going forward yeah no i I, that does kind of answer that question for me curious to see i mean like because i really actually liked the way it incorporated so i wouldn't be opposed to them actually incorporating it to at least a couple songs kind of like how uh, tillian incorporated some different sounds into his new album of again which we'll talk about later oh uh, or you can check out another episode oh whoa just plug yeah check that out yeah i mean in their last album pink elephant i mean they had uh silk and satin which is pretty much just like a trappy beat so i mean that i mean they've definitely done this kind of thing before i mean in this song it's more of just like added in instead of being like the main driving force of the song like silk and satin was Mm -hmm. so i mean it's not unprecedented but i'd really like to see how it turns out so yeah yeah i mean like you said a couple songs would be neat but like if they stick to their pop punk formula like the rest of the way it'll it'll be legit yeah so totally agree totally agree uh in other news um i just want to go on like a a real short mini tangent because uh Uh our our lovely boys our last night released a very fun (laughs) video on (laughs) youtube which i guess this sort of dips into youtube corner but like not really because it was like it was on youtube but we're talking about now uh (laughs) but like so in the past, they've done, uh, like, mini compilations of, like, they did nickelodeon theme songs, which is probably my favorite video on the entirety of the internet. Same. They did, like, songs we shouldn't cover before. And this time they did Disney songs, and it was incredible. Mm. I think the Toy Story one was, like, the best yes. shit I've I ever heard. I was about to say the same yeah. thing. It was and it so just, good. like, it makes, me, it makes me wish that they would just pull, put out, like, a full cover album of, like, Disney shit. Because this was just, like, excerpts of songs. They didn't play, mm. like, full disney songs it was just bits and pieces of different disney songs on like a little medley um but it was fucking incredible and i really think they're not gonna hear this but like they really need to just put out like a fucking disney cover album i will fuck with that shit so hard dude like yes so fucking good um did you guys have any like personal favorites of the of the songs that they covered in that video I was going to say the Toy Story one as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't. It's. I remember watch. I haven't watched it since the day that it came out. So I don't remember a lot of them. The only one that came to mind was the Toy Story one. <laughs> that Fair one enough. is the one that stands out the most. Uh, but that whole thing is just so freaking good, dude. Yeah. I love. I just love it. Like, I, I agree with you. I, I really want them to just do more of that or even like a full album of it if they really felt like it. Because, ah, oh, man. It's just, I love it when they do it. I would love if they just went back and made like a full form album of all the Nickelodeon ones because as good as the Disney one is, I still like the Nickelodeon one more personally. Oh, same. Uh, Yeah. Might be because I was a big Nickelodeon kid when I grew up too. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just a great video. I loved it. I was definitely going to touch it, touch on it in the YouTube corner, but now that we did it here, it's a nice little, this little bridge, you know, it works. (laughs) Bringing everybody together. uh... I needed I needed something else to talk about, and that really resonated with me. So I'm like, right. we'll, just, we'll just fucking dive into it early. Oh yeah, oh, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm down. I, what do you think? I, I got to give it to Under the Sea is probably, oh, yeah. is probably my was favorite. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> toy, like, like Toy Story was lit. I mean, you got a friend in me. Like that is just an undefeated bop. I mean, even the original. But like, yeah. I mean, under the sea, like just hearing them play that, I'm like, ooh, like this is gonna be good because I think they started off with that. There was like maybe like the second or third track, but yeah, yeah I think I mean, you're that, right. I mean, that was just such a strong fucking start off. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, all right, fucking under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> <But>. <laughs> yeah, so that video was super fun. I would recommend checking it out if For you sure. uh, haven't seen it already because it is a fun time. Also, go look up that Nickelodeon one too. Oh, if for you sure. Haven't. Uh, cause that is legitimately my favorite video on the entirety of the internet, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> uh, and our last topic for today, which this is once again, kind of dipping into YouTube corner a little bit. Cause I know that this is more, more your territory, Kyle. And, and I mainly want to talk about this cause I want to hear your thoughts, uh, more, more than anything else. But I also, uh, just want to bring up my thoughts on this album that dropped cause Jonathan mm-hmm. Young or sweet cover boy, oh. <laughs> Jonathan Young, who uh, I will admit I've only really ever been in for the covers. I'm one of his horrible fans who I don't <laughs> I don't support him on Patreon. I don't really listen to his original stuff. I'm really just there 
for the memes and the, and oh, the anime yeah. covers and the and the other shit. The I'm Blue Dada D cover. I listen to that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that shit slaps. <laughs> the Barbie so Girl one is still a low key like bot. I love that yeah, one so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Kyle and I used to fucking jam to his fucking Sonic cover. Escape from the uh, city, the baby. Time, we would just like cr- roll the windows down, crank that shit up in like the fucking mm. Wendy's drive through just to like <laughs> fucking <laughs> make make sure everybody <laughs> in line with us was having a horrible time. But we were we were doing great. We were. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care about that. Yeah, I remember, just, I remember we were on our way back from Lancaster. We were jamming the I'm Blue cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're like, the, wait the a man minute. Is the king of covers. This is uh, actually but, good. But unfortunately, <laughs> he finds the art of doing covers a uh, soul-sucking and horrendous task, apparently. She's been very open about recently, and that is why he put out his original album, Starship Velociraptor, this month. Which, um, admittedly, like I said, I'm a trash fan. I didn't even listen to it until yesterday. Uh, because when, like, I listened to the singles that came out, and I'm like, you know, these are kind of, they're fun, I guess. But, you know, it's just not really in my wheelhouse. Um, but I took the time. Out of respect for him, uh, I took the time. I listened to the entire album, um, and this is a conversation that I mainly wanted to have with Kyle because I know Kyle very much wanted me to listen to this album. Yeah, uh, I, I know you're a much bigger advocate of Jonathan Young than I am. Um, I will say I have a few thoughts. I overall really enjoyed the album. I thought it was really, really well done. I think that he has this very good, and obviously, I mean, we know he's extremely talented, but like. He he managed to kind of craft this very like in your face like sound that he, he uh, I mean you wouldn't be able to get from like making covers and stuff like I think he mm. really is able to kind of shine doing this original composing. However, on the on the flip side of that coin, lyrically the album is fucking dumb, and yeah. I like no yeah because here's the thing <laughs> like it's it's one thing. If you, like, make, like, a comedy album and, like, the Mm. material is, like, actually funny. But then it's, like, another thing when you just do kind of, like, a weird thing where it's, like, I'm going to sing a song about having an army of tigers. And I'm going to sing a song about, like, uh, uh, racing in jetpacks. And it's just kind of, like, okay, that's quirky, I guess. But it's, like, Mm. I don't, this just feels weird. Like, I don't really, I don't, I don't really get it. Um, Mm. Not to say, and again, it's not a bad album. I think that just, like as far as lyrical content goes, is not for me. Um, but I do like the the musicalness. I like the composure of it surrounding mm-hmm. it. I will go back and re-listen to this album uh, because I really do just enjoy the sound of it. Um, mm-hmm. But I do wish that he would take that energy and take that sound and kind of put it into either... Pu- either push it toward more serious or push it toward more over the top. Because, like, the... The weird like niche territory it's in right now yeah. just like doesn't doesn't completely work for me, and that's just a yeah. very subjective personal thing. But that's just that's just where I'm at. So Jonathan Young, I know you're not listening to this, and I know my opinion means nothing. But that is my two cents. I would really, 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 <laughs> very much like to see if you take that incredible sound that you've managed to create and just push that in one of the two directions where it's just kind of all in on serious or all in on not serious and not this kind of like middle of the road territory. Yeah. Um, that is my thought. And I wanted to get that off my chest. Kyle, I want, I want you to lay it out for me. Cause I know you yeah. very much like this album. I do like this uh, album a lot. So I, I want to talk- hear, I want to yeah. hear your thoughts on this. Yeah, so I I totally understand where you're coming from. I totally can see why. Uh, I don't know if you saw the whole like explanation of the album where it's like he made this album with an intergalactic band from the future, which is uh, just a ploy for him to make a, a fake band of space oh. crazy people. <laughs> it's okay. like all those characters that are like in the music video for the best band in the universe that like the, like the bass player that's just like like the whole fucking time yeah. and like the robo uh the robo guitar player because he can just play in cre- like unrealistic like riffs on the guitar and like mm-hmm. the drummer with the crazy a bunch of arms and stuff all those like that's the idea of the whole album is they're like a band from the universe and this is like an album of like their tales on the starship velociraptor or ship and shit so like there is like a, a loose like idea of like a story to it that kind of gives it like a, like a purpose like you were kind of talking about. Uh, mm-hmm. But this is also very much like just a big middle finger album to like the music industry in general. I feel like sure, like yeah. I think that's kind of why it's not necessarily like uh like this ha- this song has meaning because this song me- has meaning because because like he doesn't 
He just wants to make something that he has a good time making. And this is a step towards, I think, the, the next step for him, which we'll talk about. But mm-hmm. uh, as far as the album goes, I, I love this album. Like you were saying, I think the sound of it alone, like if you just took away the lyrics, because I, I agree, the lyrics are quite like goofy. I feel like it's like a Ninja Sex Party-esque thing, but like not yeah. raunchy. Um and that's always more fun to listen to around the family. Uh, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I really like just how fun this album was. And like, he even like stated in, in a podcast he did last year, uh, he did an interview and oddly enough with Brian Wecht, who was featured mm-hmm. on this album, Ninja Brian. Uh, but he, the only feature, which was odd, but anyways, um, yeah, no, I just feel like, like he cited inspiration from like bands like Snarky Puppy, like one of my favorite bands of all time, if you've been following the show. And like even Jacob Collier, another one of my favorites. Mm. So like it and you can hear it too. It's crazy. Yeah, like this album is just yeah. a flex and a middle finger. It's just mm-hmm. him flexing. But also <laughs> like fuck you, music industry, for making me have to make money from doing covers. And yeah. like I am also a simp for the covers. Like I love the covers. And I I came I came for the covers. That's why I joined into the the fandom of Jonathan Young. Yeah. But I'm definitely ready for this next step. I am so excited to hear where he goes with it next because like this like I said this is a flex. He has so much skill. Like the, the fact he that does. he made I all mean... this himself, the some of the shit on this is unrealistically good. Like Yeah. Holy, I, I, like, this album is one of those albums that you just have goosebumps from, like, top to bottom. Like, mm-hmm. it's nuts. I, yeah. I just cannot fathom some of the rhythms, some of the, the crazy, like, piano solos, the guitar runs. Some of, like, even, like, the beat structure is very unique at times. Like, yeah. uh, like, man, the cannons, some of that, like, back shit, the, the back and forth, like, backing mm-hmm. stuff with the bass and everything. Oh my gosh, yeah. man. It just feels, it almost feels like a song I'd hear like as like an NHL team is coming out of the ice and it's just <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like that's the energy I get from it. But like, yeah, I feel oh. that. No, I, I mean, know, you're right. Just... Like it's, it is some of the shit that he managed to pull off in this album is just incredible. Like it, it really mm. is just like masterfully done in certain ways. Um, And I definitely like, now that you kind of bring that up about it, kind of like, it is like a weird fuck around album because it is like him giving a giant middle finger to the industry. Like that makes a lot of sense. Like mm. I, I totally get that. I imagine that was very cathartic for him. <laughs> oh no, what that's <laughs> to do. That's also like what you feel throughout this entire album is that like it's one hundred and ten percent a passion project. Like he just is having an absolute blast making this. Yeah. and like even like since he's put it out, the fact that like it has like less than half of the views of like his other stuff on his YouTube channel, like when he individually posts stuff, like he's like, I know this isn't going to be popular. I know I'm not going to make money off of this as much yeah. as I would other things, but I don't give a fuck. I'm just going right. to make something I've always wanted to make. Yeah. And it, it's just so much fun. It mm-hmm. like, it's not only like, inc- like incredibly well-written really just fucking fun and just goofy and just passion driven low key one of my favorite albums of the year so far like i mm-hmm. it, i all around i just it makes me smile and some music doesn't really even do that to me even like the really good shit is just really good and i'm not like just having like a just stupid fun time listening to it it's just like this is so good oh my gosh what a good song this yeah. makes me like giggle because i know he was probably giggling writing the actual mm-hmm. album itself it's just yeah. what what I mean, a good can, vibe yeah you can definitely like feel um like you can feel that it's a passion project like you can you mm-hmm. can feel it in the songs that he was just having a really good time when he made them and i think that is also like a lot of the appeal of it is like you know even though i don't like parts of it uh mm-hmm. even though some like the lyrics and stuff don't really like do it for me like even even still like the just like the grooviness of all of it and just the fact that you can just you can feel how passionate he is about it you could feel like the fucking the vibes he was feeling when he was making Mm -hmm. the stuff like it really it really made it stand out to me and like even though it might not be like my favorite album of the year so far like Mm -hmm. it is a really strong album and i really respect that he yeah you know put that out there brennan did you get a chance to to listen to any of it uh i'm actually listening to it now like as you're talking (laughs) and I, i definitely get like like the composing aspect of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it seems like everything is very well 
put together. I mean, it's mm. like like musically that I I don't have a thing against it. It actually sounds yeah. really good. I mean, I've really had a yeah. chance to listen to the lyrics because I'm like trying to like listen to you guys as well. Mm. But I mean, for like his genre and like you know what he usually does, I mean, it sounds like pretty on par, and I, I think mm-hmm. it's pretty tasty thus far. Hell so. yeah, man. I would definitely recommend uh, listening to the whole thing in its entirety when you have a chance because I don't think there's a bad song on the album. Like Same. I There's some lyrics that I find to be just incredibly dumb, but like that's the point, I guess. And uh, But like just from a musical perspective, super good. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, relating to that, he has announced... Now, like after after this album dropped, a few weeks after the album dropped, he made an announcement on YouTube uh, saying that he is working on a new project coming up, but he's doing it with the drummer from Three Days Grace and this apparently really famous producer guy whose name I don't remember, who has worked on really famous shit before. Uh, yes. Some of the things that were listed were things I'm not a fan of, but they are all popular. So yes. it's a good sign. Uh, it is Howard and, Benson is the, the name of him. Okay. And he, he has produced things such as My Chemical Romance and Seether and Papa Roach. And Skillet. And, and Skillet. Ew. And uh, <laughs> my mom is so excited about that yeah. one, but like <laughs> Skillet. Um, I, was, I was expecting like Creed or something. One of dude. the one of the <laughs> least hot takes I've ever had. Skillet is one of my least favorite bands of all time, but that is neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's just sure, not a hill enough. that anyone ever wants to die on. Like that's just not enough. Yeah. There's not enough energy in the universe there's to like, spend there's time two, on it. There's two factions of people. Not to like go off on a mini tangent. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. But oh, we open the floodgates. I have to say, there's two kinds of people in this world. There are like people who exclusively only listen to Christian music and think that Skillet is good, and then there are people with taste who realize that Skillet is fucking terrible. <laughs> regardless of their shot even back in the days when i was a brainwashed middle schooler who only listened to that kind of shit i still thought skillet was fucking garbage so that just that you, you heard it from me you heard it from from the me that used to be you of the oh, yeah. people who are still into that genre of music Skillet is fucking trash i will take that to my grave i'll never change my fucking opinion on that but anyway we're not talking about skillet we're yeah, talking no about Jonathan we'll Young, who's actually talented and he is working with a guy who produced stuff for Skillet. But he's going to make stuff that's much better. And to piggyback off the shit we are talking about before, the fact that he's working with these important people makes me think that his next project is going to be more in, like, the serious realm of music, mm-hmm. which is exactly what I was asking for. And that gets me really fucking excited, because yes. if that actually happens, then it will be just be everything I want. Like, if he takes the same fucking energy that he had on starship velociraptor but then puts it into like non-weird lyrics that kind of work better for my personal tastes i will be a very happy boy with that and if and when this happens i would very much like to do a uh album review song ranking of it when it drops because after starship velociraptor i can i can see his talent in full display and i just it is something i want to talk about in gruesome detail Mm. <laughs> so, one hundred percent agree. I low key wanted to do one for Starship Velociraptor, but I knew it wasn't exactly in either of your guys' wheelhouses. So I just I was like, all right, it's fine, it'll be all right. Uh, but this next project, I am so excited for because mm-hmm. he played like a clip of it at the end of that announcement video, and like I love the way Jonathan Young sounds. Like always, I've always really yeah. loved it. I, I've never had a moment where I've disliked something that he has made. Um. And this sounded even better than that. And I think it has to kind of do with the team he's working on it where they're like, maybe he has a certain way he likes to kind of mix things. And they're like, well, what if we tried this? And it just like emphasizes just like the power of his voice even more. And it's nuts. I didn't think that could happen. And like some of those like harmonies and shit where like they were layering his voice in the Land of the Living uh, little teaser, Mm -hmm. which I mean, by the time this comes out, that song will be out because it comes out tomorrow. Oh, well, that's pretty fucking cool. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, the song comes out tomorrow. Actually, I think at midnight tonight, which is the 29th, 
if you're all curious, now that we've completely thrown off the, like, the dates of anything, because we it's started okay. saying, it's now Seven May. Seven people are going to watch this, and maybe nah, two yeah. of them will care. <laughs> Just don't, <laughs> I don't Let's get the timeline right here. We, we had to move it a little bit closer, because I'm about to graduate, so I need the Friday and everything. So like, But it's unfortunate, because that's something I was going to talk about if we actually did this at the end of the month. But now... I don't care about the rules. It's going to be on my next month's playlist because I am going to talk about it because I want to talk about it because it's going to be really good. And something else about it that I'm really excited for because, like, I was wondering, too, like, is it going to have that same energy as Starship Velociraptor? That just, like, pure passion, just fucking, like, balls to the wall fun. And on TikTok, he's been posting more on TikTok, just little, like, tidbits of stuff. Um, just to get his stuff out there, because TikTok is a really great place to 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 throw your name out there if you if you want to do that right now. Which we might make a TikTok, who knows? But um, if you want to see us make a TikTok, why don't you hit that like button? <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> like and subscribe, baby. But the he on his TikTok did another snippet of it, a piano solo that he did that felt so much like that piano solo from the Jetpack uh, Jetpack race, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be great <laughs> i'm so excited about it it definitely has that energy at least the one song does so i am absolutely staying up tonight to listen to it and it might be like my song of the year so far <laughs> just from like Damn. the like 30 seconds of it i've heard it just sounds that so a, good that's a bold statement it absolutely Damn. is but like ooh, baby i'm just i am all i like i am just putting all the chips onto jonathan young this year <laughs> everything is just coming up daisies and i'm loving it it's just, <laughs> he has not missed yet man i i don't know man it's incredible massive I, like you said you're probably not gonna hear it jonathan young but keep on fucking doing it because it sounds so good oh it's gonna catch man it's gonna catch it's gonna be so fucking good mm. Mm. hell yeah <laughs> Love and him. to yeah. end my segment, I'm going to circle back and make a joke that I thought of while you were saying that. Uh, more like the TikToks a lot. Points at my right. Whoa! That was the best fucking joke that has ever been made. That's going to be our handle time. on TikTok. That'll be our handle. The TikToks, TikToks a lot, boys. <laughs> yeah, that'll be our handle. It'll be great. Have, if you want to see the TikToks a lot, boys, leave a comment below. <laughs> That's so Jesus perfect. Holy shit, I don't a know how I a bunch think about no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I've peaked. Even? I've, I, right there, peak of peak of. That my was gear. it, right there. That's I'm so the proud of you. It's ever gonna get. Um, really is. Cool, Kyle. You know yes. what time it is. Oh boy, do I. We've been oh, we've boy. been slowly waddling our way over to the corner. Basically, we've been in the corner because we've been talking about pretty much corner material. Uh, but why don't you officially drag our limp bodies over into the YouTube corner? Mm, baby, I tell you what. Time for Kyle's YouTube corner, baby. Run that intro. That's it. That's the intro. We've done it here. Kyle. We're here now. Hey there. Serenade us with your beautiful vocal cords. Talking about all the two goodness. So this month, there actually wasn't a ton. It wasn't a huge month for for YouTube-ness. Uh, 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 even though, like, we talked about it a lot in the first segment, made you might 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 have made, made you think, like, oh boy, like, there's probably gonna be a lot in the YouTube corner. Not really, not really this month. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, Jonathan Young, kind of riding off the back of that. Obviously, the album was awesome. Came out this month, beautifulness. Um, but he also released a cover of wanted dead or alive by bon jovi and it was pretty tasty i liked it a lot right back to the fucking soul sucking just terrible life that he lives <laughs> making uh gotta make making, that bread gotta make that bread and i mean <laughs> like they always sound so good there's got to be some sort of satisfaction the fact that people adore it a lot uh, and I feel like making the meme one has to have some kind of fun there's there's a very obvious like sense of fun in the meme ones especially so I don't like I'm not like, oh, God, don't make them anymore because you hate it. Because, like, it's obviously he still enjoys it, especially when he does collabs with stuff. Because he does collabs with, with other people and stuff like that all the time. But anyways, One Dead or Alive is really good. Really enjoy that song in general because I'm a little classic rock bitch. Um, but I really like One Dead or Alive's covers. Very good. Um, scooting right along. How about Mr. Nate Wants to Battle? We like Mr. Nate Wants to Battle. He's a cool guy. He made two My Hero Academia covers this month. They were so freaking good. I liked them a lot, especially because one of them was a rock cover of Might You, which was the like like orchestra bit that played at the very end of Hero Rising, Heroes Rising. 
oh. uh, which I was like, you're doing a cover of a, like a like more like orchestral thing. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? So like the, yeah, the, know, the whole yeah, big final fight about. where it's like, don't worry about a thing. And that whole thing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it's a beautiful moment in the movie. And I was like, yeah. a rock cover? And the rock cover kind of hits. I was like, oh, shit, this I'm is kind of I'm going to check good. that out because I didn't know that yeah. that came out. And that sounds yeah. very intriguing to me. Yeah, it uh, oh. technically it was made by Boy Hero, which is like a group that he's a part of uh, through like his little group of stuff um, okay. that he does on his channel and everything. Because he has the I don't remember what the name. I feel terrible. I'm a I'm a fake fan. The name of the channel with like the record label that he kind of has thing. Oh yeah, I know I what you're talking about. I don't remember I don't the name of it either. Can't remember what it's called. Sorry, Nate. You're a cool guy, but uh, yeah, no, he he did Might You, which was really cool with Boy Hero. Uh, and that was awesome. I was unexpected because I never really, it's always been like a guilty pleasure kind of song from that show. Cause my, my hero always releases like really slapping intros to animes all the time. They never miss. It's always good. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to see like the orchestral thing from the movie, I was like, this ain't, this ain't what he does. What's going on? And it was great. But speaking of those slappy intros, he did one of the new one that just came out with the new season that's been airing. Yeah. Uh, Which number one. Hot take, I think is the best, uh, opening song of all of them so far, my personal really? favorite. Personally, really? don't all know right. what the fuck they're saying because it's in Japanese, but I I like well, the sound of it. Why don't you listen to, to their cover, which is an English cover, I so will. you can kind of know. They'll definitely do. That. <laughs> it, it works <laughs> in English too. I definitely think it's one of the stronger ones. I don't know if I'd go as far to say as it's the best one, but it's it's a, it's very high up there. And I have to really listen to some of the the first like two seasons of them because it's been a minute. Uh, Because there's definitely, like, one or two themes from, like, the first half, like, the first season or two that, like, Mm -hmm. still slap. Like, I I hear them and I'm like... I think they all slap. I don't think there's a single bad one. Mm -hmm. As a person who recently rewatched the entirety of the anime Mm -hmm. leading up to the new season, I I just, I like this one a lot. I think it's my favorite, personally. Hell yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It's very good. And this cover of it by Nate Wants to Battle is also very good. So check it out. It's very nice. But moving on from Nate Wants to Battle... Why don't we talk about a guy that's pretty neat, that's pretty cool. We talk about him a lot. Insane in the Rain music. He made a little cover of Gangplank Galleon from Donkey Kong Country. What a classic. What a mm-hmm. ditty. It's very nice jazz. But the unexpected... Uh, a ditty. I see what you did there. <laughs> the, un- <laughs> <laughs> the unexpected thing that he covered was the song Pig Step from Minecraft. And I was like, Pig Step? Pig Step from Minecraft? What is this? I didn't even know what it was. I had to go and find it and listen to it. I was like, what? And then it was so good. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> a Minecraft song? And then it's it's featuring somebody. I don't remember the name of the person. I feel like Notch. that person. It's featuring Notch <laughs> himself? <laughs> featuring Notch. The man, the myth, the legend? <laughs> featuring <laughs> Lena Rain. Uh, uh, she played some little, nice little, like, uh, like keyboard solos in it, and it was just a really, like, chill, good vibe fucking little, little jam. I didn't, I didn't, it, it's from Minecraft? I still question marks? I don't, <laughs> it's, it's so nice. I, I, I don't understand why from Minecraft's there. It just doesn't feel right. It's so good. Check Minecraft that one out. Minecraft has nice music, to be fair. <laughs> it, it does have nice music. Like, don't get me wrong. I just, like, this, like... This is a very much an evolved form of pig step from Minecraft, <laughs> and uh, I liked it a lot. It was very good. But something that I've been very excited to talk with you boys about, the last little 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 note that I have to throw into the barrel, is that I've discovered a new member of the YouTube corner. Oh. Oddly enough, I discovered them through TikTok and then realized they had, like, a major YouTube following, and that was kind of where their thing is. They've been around for quite a many years, have quite a many albums. They're a band called Scary Pockets. I looked them up when you asked me to. They are very interesting. I, do, I wasn't aware that this was going to yes. be a YouTube corner thing. Yeah, uh, they, they seem to be predominantly a YouTube-based kind of thing. Okay. They like to they like to do like uh, collaboration. They like have a you probably saw they have a cycling member of like uh, yeah, yeah, vocalists yeah, yeah. that come in. Uh, people like Caleb Hiles, someone who does a lot of stuff with Jonathan Young, actually, yeah. uh, has been featured on Enter Sandman, the jazz cover. I did cover. not know that, he, that that dude was involved. I just, I listened to, like, a few songs, and I was like, yeah. oh, this is pretty good. Like, yeah. it's not, like, it's not my genre, per se, mm-hmm. but, like, it was, it was very good for what it was. Definitely. What? Like, it definitely 
gave me some got got some endorphins moving you know I, yeah I, I they always it. have they just always have like so one of the comments i saw because like i remember this was very early in april that i saw this because they released a cover of harder better faster stronger the iconic mm-hmm. daft punk song um which is very great because they feature a big band in it which i never thought those like daft punk big band was going to be a thing that i wanted to be like a come together <laughs> in my life but it's fantastic it was awesome um but I, I ended up doing a, quite the deep dive early on in the in the month, just like going through a lot of their videos just to like kind of learn more about them. And uh, one of the comments that I read said, they always take the melody somewhere you're never expecting. And it's so true. That's exactly how I feel about them. I They always take a song that's very popular and they just kind of like dance around with the tune, like in very unique ways. And it's so much fun. I thought it was so cool. I mean, like I'm a, I'm a little... Again, I'm a little bitch for something. It's for jazz music, and <laughs> they do jazz funk stuff. And, like, another one of the songs that I have on the list is uh, Driver's License, a song we talked about recently that our last night covered. Um, but they're, like, jazzy, just kind of, like, ooh, groovy, just, like, little vibe. <laughs> their, their cover of it was just so, so, like, I feel like I've heard so many different versions of that song now. It's kind of insane. I don't remember what it originally sounds like. Uh, but I I've really only like- ever heard covers. I've never even heard. <laughs> the original song i don't <laughs> check it out because the that's the thing that song originally is very good i i like it and then it just keeps getting better and i just I, what a great world to live in we're in the right timeline uh mm-hmm. and then they just recently released a cover of the middle which is it was a very popular song not too terribly long ago on the radio mm-hmm. that's always the thing they do they do very popular songs on the radio and or very classic songs and they they cover them in jazz funk styles and there's always a piano player. One of their, the, the, I think one of the founding members. That every time he plays, he goes, "Yeah." Mm. <laughs> and it's it's always just, just like get really a looping gif of that <laughs> to just use for any situation. Anything, anything. Just every time you're excited about something, send that gift to people. Um, <laughs> add a T to that, baby. It's a gift. All right. Uh, so. It- <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're on I thought, fire I, today, I keep baby. thinking that the humor has hit its peak, and then you just keep, like, mm. raising the we bar. Just keep, we just keep going, man. That's what that's <laughs> what we're here for, to give you quality humor. Damn. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, that's really all I had said about them. I was very pleasantly surprised. The middle cover was cool because they actually brought in three different vocalists that they've worked with, and they did crispy, clean harmonies that were, like, just jumping all over the place funkiness, and, like, oh, wow, like, like... Because, like, I remember Harder, Better, Fa- Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, whew, it's a tough one to say, came out at the beginning of the month, and I was like, this is dope. And it made me go back, check everything, and I was like, awesome. Then they released Driver's License, which is very chill, groovy, kind of like just riding with the with the top down on the convertible, doing the Tillion arm. And uh, it's just so good. And then the middle is legitimately, like, so crisp. And, like, they're all just outside at a park in the music video, and they're just, like, chilling, just, yeah. Yeah. And then they just like hit the crispest harmonies. I just I I'm so excited to hear more from them. I just oh wow, I was such a pleasant surprise. Love I'm so excited. So congrats on joining the YouTube corner, Scary Pockets. I'm so excited to hear more of you guys. But uh yeah, that kind of concludes the corner. Thank you all for coming. Cool. And I'll see you all again next month. Kyle, close us yes. out by hitting us with uh, you harmonizing with yourself. Okay. Are you, you're gonna like do stuff in post, right? Because like I can't yeah, do yeah, that yeah, physically. Yeah. I just love okay. making my <laughs> job can't do it the same time. Yeah. Just, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, actually, Nick. Fun, fun fact: Nico can do that. He can harmonize with himself. Next time he's on something, we're gonna make him do himself, it. Self, like, what do you mean? He can like split tone his voice. It's insane. What? Anyways, yes. It's really cool. I don't know if he can still do it. This was a long time ago that he did this. So maybe it's that was years ago. So maybe he can't do it anymore. Sure. I don't know. Nico Anyways. is a fucking mutant. That's awesome. <laughs> let's see if I can let's see if I can make this happen. I'm I'm a very, very old music student, so maybe I can remember. Well, but yeah, that was that's, beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, and Thanks. we're done. That's it. Wow. The corner is over. Close it up, lock it up for the month. Lock the corner away. Eat it off. Throw away the key. <laughs> Till next oh, yeah. month. Done. Oh, and yeah. uh, let's mosey on over. Let's take a take a hot cab over to the Ooh. coolest place in town, uh, the Gentleman's Club. <laughs> 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 the club where only the gentiest of gentlemen are granted admission. Hell yeah. yeah. So this month, we got a little bit of a different vibe than previous months. I mean, last month, the last bear ender was 
just brutality incarnate. <laughs> this is Gent in a completely different sense. And the first song that we'll be putting in the pit against, you know, the other track is Triggered by Chris Turner featuring Thomas Lang, which, Ooh. as Tyler pointed out before, <laughs> the D and Gent is for drums. <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> is. Because like, yeah. Chris Turner, all right, for those who don't know who he is, he's actually the drummer for a band called Ocean's 8 Alaska. And they're a British band that does a lot of like genty, like metalcore, like progressive kind of things. And they fucking slap. Check them out if you haven't. And he is an absolute god on the kit. <laughs> like, Insanely yes, good. Like he's and a fucking he like is. a beast among beasts. Like yeah, one of yes. the greatest drummers I have ever witnessed. One hundred percent. Like yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, he is definitely S tier fucking god mode. At drums and Hell yeah. what's interesting is he does all of these like he actually released a song earlier called 40 roll um mm -hmm. that came out like the end of 2020 and mm -hmm. he records all of these in one take so which is just in, like it's just insane like how could you keep yeah. your focus like that <laughs> rock solid for you know in this case just a little over three minutes and 40 rolls case yeah. is a little longer how could well, your ankles just not shatter <laughs> of like the result of that many fucking double bass beats? <laughs> yeah, like like how did how do your like calf muscles just not catch on fire? Right, and just like singe off, and then how can he walk after <laughs> recording these? Like, <laughs> yeah. So this dude is an absolute god, and Thomas Lang is no slouch either. I mean, he's in a ton of other stuff. I mean, I have no idea what the list is, but I just know he's in a lot of other stuff. <laughs> He's a very gifted like studio drummer, works with a lot of other artists and such. <clears throat> and they came together with a drum masterpiece. You know, if you don't believe me, go look up the uh, YouTube video. I mean, it is just so good. Fucking nutty. And also then very this, funny. Very, very funny. Yeah, yeah the music video is hilarious. It's it's like based around like a fighting game, but that's that's all you're not gonna get any more spoilers. <laughs> but uh the track it's going up against is from a Swedish band called Eminence. And the song is called Temptation. <laughs> and this is a very good mashup of like metalcore and gent. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, I've, I've heard of this band before. I, they had a, a, an album that came out, I think a couple of years ago. It's called like Turn the Light On or something that just fucking like shook the earth. <laughs> and <laughs> like Temptation is absolutely no different. I mean, it has plenty of chugs. Uh, the vocalist is very gifted. He's excellent at high screams. He just fucking shreds. And then he's also... I saw a comment on YouTube that he is probably the most violent violinist ever. <laughs> which is I totally would, fucking I would more agree. like a violinist. <laughs> Am I right? -dum -tss. Like Whoa, we <laughs> just get better! Yes! Uh, <laughs> man, you know, the bar was on the ground and we brought a shovel. So, let's, uh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> that God, is today. incredible. I've never heard that. How have I oh. never? That's the best way to describe that was the a sickest train bird wreck. I've ever heard. <laughs> At least it was like a group burn. Like we're all in it together. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, like wow. I'm hurting. I need a medic. I need medical attention from these degrees of burns. Fuck. But like, <laughs> holy shit, <laughs> that was incredible! Oh, wow, I have to give you that one. That was that was that was next level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was that was beautiful. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. Oh man, but <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> oh man, but temptation. I mean, this track is just. Like I said, it's got chugs, it's got, you know, nice, like, lead guitar licks. I mean, I think the guitarist is a bit underrated. I think the vocalist is definitely underrated. I mean, I, like, I very rarely hear these people mentioned ever, and I think these guys are bosses. But it is no longer up to just me. This is up to the council, the Talks A Lot Boys Gentlemen's Club board. Mm. So I got to ask. Kyle, which one of these two will gain membership in the Triggered. Club? Triggered. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, like it's, tri- it's triggered. Record timing, dude. It's Holy triggered. <laughs> it's, I, I tell you what, I listened to these in the correct order because I listened to uh, it's Eminence, right? That's the name of the song or the band? I can't remember. That's the name of the confusion. band. band. Yeah. Eminence is the name of the band. Temptation is the name of the song. Uh, very, very, really cool like, music video. As you stated, very cool like mix of genty metal cornice. The, the violin is a nice touch. Um... But then I listened, I, I viewed and listened, because I do feel like just listening to Triggered does not do it quite the justice. I feel like anything that's like super drum centric, watching it also gives you a level of respect to like how insanely good the song is. Because like, holy shit, not only did the music video just like ooze, just like goofy fun shit with like the video game aspect, but then it just melted my fucking eye sockets with how incredibly fast limbs were moving on humans. And I couldn't <laughs> fathom it. And it was gorgeous. Also, the, the, the fucking nail in the coffin was that the fucking Eminence songs music video, it has nothing to do with the actual song. In fact, the music video <laughs> The ratio is like 28 by 4. Like, I don't really fucking understand <laughs> what the fuck is going on with the Slim Jim of a song that, like, that music video has. I don't I don't get it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What a weird choice. It took away from the music video entirely. Um, but yeah, my vote is 100% triggered. Uh, it's about time we had a really hardcore drum drum uh, uh, candidate in the, in the club because, like, as you've stated very hilariously before, Tyler... D stands for drumming and gent. <laughs> so, so hilarious. But yeah, that's my vote. Triggered. 100%. I like how I I'm it. the one who made the shitty joke while we weren't recording, then both of you proceeded to make the shitty joke for me during the recording. <laughs> and we yeah, both stated that you had come up with it. And you both gave me credit for it. <laughs> because you did do it, but now it's like so old that it doesn't feel like you deserve it. And that's kind of what the goal is. I never wanted been. credit for it. Well, it's bad. The whole point of this roundabout way is to put all of the blame on you, actually. So, uh, oh, great. Well, that's one vote for Triggered. It's two votes for Triggered, Brennan. I hope three oh, votes for Triggered. Because Jesus Christ, last month was tough. This is the easiest shit that has yes. ever been uh, placed in front of me in my life. Uh, so, uh, like, this is like asking me, like, would I rather fucking shoot a Nazi or a puppy? <laughs> very clearly, there is a correct choice to be made there. And Damn. in this scenario, there's also a very clear choice. Triggered is far superior in every possible facet. Like, it is just the hands-down correct fucking choice. There's no... You can't have opinions on this. This is just fucking fact. There is a Opinion. right decision to be made. And it is picking uh, Triggered to fucking win this shit. And yes. Kyle said it all already. But just fuck... That song, even before I watched the music videos for either of these, my mind was made up. I was like, Triggered is good. And the other song's fine, but Triggered is good. It's really good. It's really good. It's so good. And then you watch the video and you see their fucking calf muscles tightening and just like going at speeds that should not be possible with with human appendages. And you're just like, I will never be good. At anything, but these Correct. people That's are. That's how it feels. <laughs> yeah. And just wow. Um, yeah. Let them into the club, man. Like, they put in <laughs> the in. time. <laughs> Open the door wide. Let them in. For the whole kit. Just like. Yeah, of as they all come the songs the that we have admitted into the club, this is by far my favorite of all of them. Ooh, it's so good. That's a, that's a pretty hot take. I mean, I am, I am uh, a mediocre drummer, so it really resonates with me when the song oh, is very yeah. drum focused. So it was like. Kind of a throwaway one for me, but man, it's a good fucking song. Good, you know. As Tyler stated, I have Adolf Hitler (laughs) on his knees in front of me, and then I have an innocent puppy (laughs) in the other corner. You know, guys, the comparisons about killing things. Why does it have to be what it is? (laughs) Could it be like I wanted to eat a bowl of ice cream or I wanted to eat a bowl of tax and I chose the ice cream? (laughs) Like, why does it have to be death? I mean, Uh, I guess eating tax would be death for yourself. Like I said, I watched like three hours of Attack on Titan before I got here. My mind is in a very dark place. (laughs) It's fair. It's fair. Uh, Well, as Tyler stated before, you know, the tribe has spoken. I am easily going to put a bullet in Hitler's head. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm going to pick triggered because like 
as Tyler said, I mean, he's a he's a average drummer. I'm I haven't played in a while, so I really don't know how good I am. But like, I also drum, and uh, it's one of those things when like you do something and then you see like an actual like master of the craft, like just fucking like just an expose of like everything that they're good at. And I mean, on both these songs, like Forty Roll and you know Triggered, respectively, like. This dude is top notch at the top of the game of the drum world. Chris Turner is just undeniable. I mean, Temptation by Eminence, I absolutely love this song, but as far as entry into the Gentleman's Club, the choice is very simple. And that's yeah. triggered by Chris Turner. Hell yes. So, welcome Hell yeah. to the club. I will say get on in there. I I will say that like in most other months against most other songs. I feel like there would have been a conversation for Temptation to make it in. Like, I don't want to, like, disrespect it, like, utterly because of the fact that, like, it's up against a, just a master class of drumming. And, like, con- we continuously have been comparing it to Nazis and Adolf Hitler. And I don't think that's quite fair because, like, the song is very good. <laughs> like, the song oh, is yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just unfortunate that a good song is paired with, like, an absolute just destruction of, like, any kind of standard in drumming ever. Like, it is just, it blows anything out of the water. It's going to be tough yeah. to beat at the end of the year everything, too. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So Triggered is now in the club. Mm. And we're locking it in there for the rest Locked. of the year. For the rest Can't of the time, actually. Three Once nothing you're in the club, sweep. you're never out of the club. Uh, no. So, it's there now. Uh, enjoying pina coladas and fucking getting down and dirty on the dance floor with Ollie Steele. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. At least you're in the last bear in ender. Uh, <laughs> All these but we are on to our final segment of the day. That's right. It's time for top picks of the month. Woo! We are going to go over our personal top single and album that dropped in the month of April. We are going to start off with Brennan. Yo. I want you to hit us with your single and album of the month. Man, so my single of the month is not triggered, even though I absolutely love that shit. Um, the song that I picked is more of a well-rounded track. I mean, it is like a full band piece. I mean, absolutely no disrespect to triggered. I think that is just a masterclass. But my number one album of the year last year, okay. The band, like Moss to Flames, actually released a couple B-sides from it. And to me, Inherit the Tragedy is an absolute fucking bop, dude. Like, it is a really good song. I did enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, like, like both of them are really good. But for me, like, Inherit the Tragedy just fucking takes the cake. Mm. And, you know, other than, you know, the Tillian album, which you listen to a lot, you know, leading up to our review of it. Go check that shit out. You know, it's just, it's probably my most most listened to thing. I mean, yeah, even though I've only picked up like a few days ago, but like mm-hmm. I've been just playing it nonstop, both songs really. So I got to give it to Inherit the Tragedy. However, I mean, like the Devil Wears Prada released the lead single off of their new Zombie EP two. Oh my god, I can't what? wait for that shit. Whoa. So I mean, like there so many bops. I mean, Triggered, Imminence. I mean, there's just. So much good shit that came out this month, but I got to give it to Inherit the Tragedy from like Boss to Flames. Hell yeah. Now, with the album, it gets really fucking tricky. So, you had a lot <laughs> this month, didn't you? Yeah, you had a lot of albums come out. This yeah, month. it was kind of yeah, nuts. Like, like the Tillian album, I threw that in there. I knew you guys would talk about it. Um, Holding Absence came out with a really good album. Um, nothing that I'd say is like groundbreaking, but like definitely just like nails all the tropes Mm -hmm. um hail the sun probably released my favorite album of theirs so far i mean yeah it's the only one that didn't like actively piss me off like i listened to the whole thing and i was like this is okay like i wasn't expecting to like this but like i don't mind this like it's not i don't i don't dislike this i could listen to this (laughs) oh man yeah i mean it's like like parasitic cleanse is probably my favorite song off of it and like it's just like the album just fucking slaps, dude. Mm-hmm. I could... And then we have Termina that came out with Dysphoria. I really which... liked that album. Which is basically, to me, like a Veil of Maya clone. Like, that's probably like the closest 
uh, comparison I could come up with. It's just fucking Andy Kizik screaming for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's 20 years. It's Andy Kizik and uh, Nick Nocturnal on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I guess it's their band or whatever. I mean, it's an absolute. I mean, I thought about putting one of these in like the Gentleman's Club like mm-hmm. race, but decided not to. But <sighs> man, I really like the Hell of the Sun album though. I am mm-hmm. going to give it to Termina this for you. Woo! I mean, this tight. It's like I said, it reminds me a lot of Veil of Maya, which I'm a massive Veil of Maya fan. They fucking rock. Um, can't wait to see them actually. So. <sighs> Yeah, I got to give it to them. Dysphoria by Termina. Fair enough. I respect it. Oh, yeah. The tribe has spoken. Kyle, we're on to you. What are your single and album of the month? Well, gosh darn it, I tell you what. Uh, Let's start start with single, like Brennan did. Uh, I think it's a pretty close race for me. And honestly, it came down to two. And originally for most of the month i thought it was going to be the harder better faster stronger cover by scary pockets because uh honestly it it might be partially because like the the thing that gave it the edge was the fact that it's a new band i'm very excited about it and i mean i love daft punk and the fact that it was like like a jazzy kind of like big band cover of it was really cool especially while the wound is very fresh of them dying um not literally figuratively the band is dead not the people anyways uh but the thing I talked about a lot earlier was that cover of The Middle by Scary Pockets as well. And all month I was like, harder, best, harder better, faster, stronger. Harder, better, faster, stronger. It's going to be so good. That's what I'm picking. And then The Middle was like, like I said before, so crisp. So just like well executed and just such a chill and fun way, man. Mm, I'm going to give it to The Middle. It's never even been a song I've loved like in general the original of. like Because like some songs will come on the radio and I'll be like, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm good with having this on the background if I'm not like listening to something on my phone. Uh, and, but that song's really never been like my like oh wow the middle what a cool tune like they made it cool and that instead like harder better faster stronger was already a good song and now this one was a song that I didn't necessarily love that they made awesome and that is a feat on top of the fact that it's crisp on uh, the fact that it's a new band that I'm hyped about so I'm gonna give my single of the month to the middle by Scary Pockets. So, congratulations. I'm excited to hear more from you guys, like I said before. Very pumped. Very excited. And then, whole oh boy, album of the month. Bet you don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be that album that I said was probably in contention for album of the year. It's going to be Starship Velociraptor by Jonathan Young. I've pretty much spouted everything I had to say about this <laughs> earlier in our, in, our, in our news segment. But I will say that the fact that I am picking it over a Tillian album that is extremely good should explain to you how highly I regard this album. It's very good. It's very <laughs> just technically, like we were saying before, I think what it really came down to me was that there are no songs on this on, on this, this Starship Velociraptor that I think are bad. I think every single song is extremely good. There are even like the one like power ballady song is still like super fucking good. And then with the Tillian album, as good as I think it is, and as we we've gushed about in our episode, I do think it has some weakish points. So I unfortunately did not let like that did not win out it also was against an album that i think is just absolutely such a great time one of the one of the happiest an album has made me in a long time so i'm gonna give it to that if you want to hear me spout about it and you just skipped in to the end to find out what our th- picks of the month were what the fuck are you doing that's not how this episode works but if you did do that go back and listen to what i said at the beginning of the episode because then you can hear me gush about it then because i pretty much said everything but yeah that's my album of the month starship velociraptor and single the middle by scary pockets cool tyler very cool that's me. That's Tyler. you. Yeah. You're that funny, quirky, sexy man that we all know <laughs> and love that hosts Juicy. our beautiful way to, way show. Just butter me up like a whole <clears throat> entire loaf of bread, Kyle. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, That's a lot of butter, <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> you butter the bread butter, butter. entire loaf at one time, and you're not eating enough toast to get your daily caloric intake if you're skinny like I am. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> there are a picks? lot of singles that came out this month. Basically, no albums for me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start with my single uh, to stick with the formula. So, for a majority of the month, I was thinking it was going to be Silver Amnesty by Resilia because, like, it's I like all of their songs. This, this is the third single they've released, and it's very good, but I like the first two singles a little bit better. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna axe that one. Now here's the tough one. Here's the tough one. I've been kind of going back and forth in my head about this all podcast. Didn't know which way I was gonna lean. Um, 
because Triggered is very good, and Triggered deserves to be picked as someone's single of the month. But I am nothing if not a Stand Atlantic stan, so I'm going to yep. go with Death Wish. <laughs> as my, I'm wearing a fucking Stand Atlantic <laughs> shirt. Like, it was going to happen. It's a very it's, cool it's shirt. It's fairly yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, um, it's a very neat shirt. It is a very neat shirt. I got it when I saw them at Sad Summerfest. Shout outs Ooh. to Sad Summerfest. Oh, yeah, dude. Bring this it back. Lit. Bring concerts back. Um, Please. Yeah, so I got to go. I got to go with Death Wish. I, if, it, it, it's my brand. I have to. I have to. Yeah. Um, you know what else is my brand? Continuing to be generic with my picks because uh, Factory Reset by Tillian is my album of the month. Um, yeah. I understand I'm so glad why you picked did it. the Jonathan mm-hmm. Young one. There's some very valid points. Um, I'm still picking it anyway, and I like it, and I've listened to it a lot. <laughs> and if you want to know why we like it and the things we like and dislike about it, you can go over and watch our entire hour-long review of, of Factory Reset. It's on the channel. It's the last thing we uploaded before this one. So go do that. It's a very good one. I, I, I thought we had very, very intriguing conversations with yes. that album, uh, especially with the way that he's been evolving. So definitely check it out. Yeah. I'm also glad you picked it because I feel like it did deserve to be picked. It's one. It's, it was very, It's so incredibly good. But I feel like for Brennan and I both, we just had some kind of standout shit happen as well on yeah. top of it that just oh, shizzle. that just yeah. made us just very so fair. gosh darn happy. So very fair. I'm I'm glad that all three of the albums that we picked got picked. I'm glad that none of us doubled yes. up. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, yeah. Speaking of doubling up, if you're already uh subscribe to the channel do it again <laughs> <laughs> i was like i don't know where this is going this is uh, just, cut, cut, just make cut. a make get a new account here. and get right back in there yeah. take Sorry. us over the hundred <laughs> subscriber we hit 90 this week it was fucking cool Woo! so get it we're almost at triple digits baby we're getting oh, there yeah. come part of that yes. listen a lot lads Damn. uh and and join join the army uh get yes. us get us over the hundred subscriber mark that'd be cool um, and if you liked this video, please uh, display your likeage of this video by physically clicking that like button underneath the video and signifying to the world and God and your mother and everyone that you like what you just heard. And if you disliked it, just leave. And don't do anything. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> just fucking hit the road. Uh, <laughs> also, please leave a comment below of literally anything. Helps the algorithm. It helps us know that you're oh, yes, please. engaged and you care. So if you're one of the four people who made it to this point in the video, please let us know by letting us know in the comments. Just be like, I am one of the four. And the first four people who do that will officially be the four. Horsemen of the apocalypse, you will get powers beyond your wildest dreams, be and you so will hot. hold the fate of the universe in your hands. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Even so, if it's something negative, like tell us what you hate about us, and it'll yeah. still benefit us by like helping us in the algorithm, and we'll get better. That's all yeah. we're here to do is get better. Tell me that my for nose you. and my teeth are too big for my face. Tell me how lopsided tell me that my, my face Adam's is. Apple looks like a second nose. Uh, really <laughs> these does. are things I'm aware of, and I like hearing because I, I like <laughs> being put down. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> really just um, gets my butter churning. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a butter boy no, today, man. I had no expectations, today, and I'm still disappointed. You're buttery, man. buttery boy. <laughs> like, salt my popcorn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, oh, shit. The, are the we, peanut so, butter to my jelly. So do we? Like peanuts uh, am I to my just to butter, ass- if you know what? I'm- <laughs> Peanut so, to my butter. Am I to assume that we just have nothing that's coming out soon? As oh, to, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I really, I just don't. I mean, uh, the main's still working on stuff. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know Kyle, do you? Like, do you have anything uh, coming out? Uh, I mean, I, I've talked about it before, but. Uh, like in the last month, but now we know like it's it's right up next. Dodie's album's finally coming out next month. Uh, Corey Henry announced he's working on a new album. And something that's on my playlist, if you want to check it out, Michael League, the guy who created Snarky Puppy, released the first single from his personal album that he's making on his own, where he's singing on it. And I was like, well, that's, that's new. He only ever played bass and shit. Um, and it's very weird. It's very weird. Like... In a way sound, that I don't know if I'm going to, like, be into, but, like, we're going to find out. I'm you totally, sound kind of disappointed. <laughs> it's it's really heavy. Like, the, the themes of the song are quite heavy, and it was just very shocking to me that he went from just kind of, like, everyone chilling, playing jazz music very professionally to, like, if you look at the music video, you're going to be, like, taken aback because it's very, very serious. But, like, the, the tones of it are very odd and different, <laughs> something that I'm just not used to. 
I'm very intrigued. Don't know if I'm going to love it, but I appreciate that he's trying something new. So I'm excited about that. So that's on the horizon somewhere. And uh, as per something I talked about before as well, Silk Sonic, Bruno Mars's new project is going to be releasing an album soon. Hopefully some, maybe a single or two off of it coming up this next month. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Yeah, that's it. That's that's what I was going to talk about. Wow. I was... Yeah, I have, I have jack shit. So I, mean, <laughs> I hope stuff comes out. But once again, I don't fucking know. So, uh, I remember yeah. back in 2020, it was like every month, like, oh, yeah, this is coming out next month. This is coming out next month. I think every episode this year, I've just been like, I oh, don't fucking know. Surprise me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's much. just me, like, not following stuff as well, or people just aren't giving me stuff. That's but, pretty okay. much me as well. <laughs> There's not too much cooking at the moment, I guess. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. well. But you know what is cooking? The Good last looking. sentence of this video. We have been the Talks a Lot Boys. We will talk a whole lot more next time.